Okay, use the create sprite block to create a new sprite. Make sure to give it a descriptive name such as coin. Okay, so this is the create sprite block, folks. I'm going to name it coin. And you got to have a set animation block too. <clears throat> I like to... Okay, so they already created a coin for us. If you look in here, boom, there's a coin. Okay, so... Oh, there's a coin right there in the middle. Okay. All right, so we did this step. Use the sprite X and sprite Y properties of the sprite to give it a random X and Y position between 0 and 400. So, sprite.x, sprite.y, and we're going to throw in a random number in both of those. And 0 and 400 will be the numbers. Sprite coin zero four hundred. Change this to coin. Okay. In the animation tab, there's already a coin animation. Okay, we already did this. If you're following me, test your go code before moving on. When you run the game, you should see a coin sprite appear somewhere randomly on the screen. So click this a bunch of times. Yes, we can move on because the coin is random. Reset the coin. When your character touches the coin, you should reset it somewhere on the screen. Do this. Place an if block inside of your draw loop. Okay, so this is pretty simple. We just learned this. Is touching. So if character is touching coin, then we're going to reset the coin. If character is touching coin. Uh, use the sprite is touching block inside the if block write code that sets the coins X and Y position to random numbers hint you've already written this code elsewhere in your program so maybe should we just copy this and cut it maybe we can cut this I'm gonna hit control X to cut that and I think I'm just gonna put it in here see if that works whoa all right, I just caused the problem, so I'm going to undo whatever I just did. All right, what's going on? Okay, all right, cool. It's there. All right, I'm going to cut it again. Oh, no, nothing happened. Here, cut. It's not working. All right, so I'm going to go into show text. Oh, whoops, that's causing the problems. Got to change that to coin. All right, should be able to. All right, cool. Is this going to work? Oh, geez, this takes so long. Yes, it worked. Awesome. Okay, great. All right, level 13. Make it your own. You now have the basic mechanics of your game in place, so it's time to make it your own. What do you want to happen? Should the character get points every time it collects a coin? Can you add a scoreboard like you learned in the last lesson? Do you want to make another coin? What about a bad coin that takes away points? Yes, we want to do all that. We want to create a scoreboard. How can we do that? We can go to lesson 16, level 9. We're going to steal a scoreboard. Okay, so first let's create a bad coin. Oh, boy. Hmm, okay, so I'm creating this bad coin. I'm going to name it coin bad. Okay. And now what I'm going to do is I am going to, I'm going to add some color to this. Let's make it red. So, you know, this is a bad coin. Look at that. Perfect. So the bad coin, you do not want to collect coin bad is what it's called. Okay. How do we add this coin? Well, we're going to create a variable for it, and let's name that variable coin bad. And then we're going to set the animation. And coin bad, set the animation to coin bad. All right. Now, we're going to do the exact same thing that we did right here. If character is touching coin. Oh, we didn't add a score. Okay, we'll do that later. But we're going to do the exact same thing. So let's copy and paste okay okay so change this to coin bad 
by the way. All right. All right. So now we need to add a score variable. So I'm going to create the variable, set it equal to zero. Okay. And now I'm going to go back to lesson 16, level nine, and I'm going to steal the scoreboard from there. Open it in a new tab. All right. The scoreboard is right here. So let's highlight that. Copy it. Go back to our game. And we're going to paste that in the draw loop. Let's see. Can I get the mouse down here? There we go. Paste. All right. Let's see if it works. Loading. I've never seen that before. Oh, there we go. Yep, we got a we got a uh, we got a scoreboard. That's a good sign. So now we need to make it so that if the character touches the good coin, score gets added to, and if it touches the bad coin, score gets subtracted from. So. We put in these two. Score equals score plus one. And then down here, score, oh, whoops. Score equals score minus one. So it looks like it's working. Yes, it works. Excellent. Well done, folks.